the nomenclature regarding osteolysis, metallosis, and other soft tissue reactions in hip orthoplasty MRI can be quite confusing, and in this video I try to make it easy. <laughs> Chances are, if you're reading hip MRI at an orthopedic institution or with a large pool of orthopedic referring physicians, you probably came across a metal on metal hip arthroplasty and the referring physician was asking for pseudotumors, osteolysis, metallosis, or even advanced terms such as LVL or ARMD or ALTR. What? Whatever. Anyways, let's go through the different terms and let's have a look what they actually mean or at least how I interpret them. And you can check for more information the link down in the description where I put you some references where you can read more about it. As I have mentioned, there is a variety of different terms that you can use and you will eventually encounter in your career regarding ALTR, ARMD, LVL, metallosis, osteolysis, pseudotumor, particle disease and frequently they are used interchangeably when they should not. So we go through the different terms right now. The first one is ALTR, which stands for Adverse Local Tissue Reaction. And this is basically an umbrella term encompassing all the different soft tissue reactions as a result to metal debris. A synonym that can be used is ARMD, which stands for Adverse Reaction to Metal Debris. So if you read an MRI and use that term ALTR or ARMD you will probably be fine if you see any uh, cystic lesions or mass like lesions or other soft tissue defects around a metal on metal hip prosthesis. LVL which stands for asymptomatic lymphocytic vasculitis associated lesion is a histological diagnosis and this is sometimes used in an MR report but in my opinion since it's a histological diagnosis you should probably not use that term on MR reports. <laughs> Basically if you have an ALTR or ARMD it can be LVL but it doesn't necessarily have to be. So keep that in mind we will see later why. LVL is a lymphocyte-mediated hypersensitivity reaction similar to a type 4 allergic reaction and the tissue damage results from cytotoxic T-cells. In metallosis on the other hand the reaction is more mediated by macrophages. Metallosis is generally believed to be a result of larger particles and not that small as in LVL but slightly larger and the damage are mediated by macrophages as opposed to T cells in LVL. And you commonly have metallosis in ARMD and since the metal artifacts are slightly bigger than in LVL you often see susceptibility artifacts in the periphery of these cystic or pseudotumor like lesions or whatever you want to call them. So keep that in mind. Then we have the term particle disease and particle disease again can be viewed as more of an umbrella term. I use it mainly if it's a polyethylene wear, so not in metal on metal systems but rather in standard or polyethylene wear particles. Again, it's more mediated with macrophages, so in a way metallosis could be a form of a particle disease. Then osteolysis is another term and basically it's any damage to the bone, any cystic lesions to the bone is osteolysis. It's a purely descriptive term. It's frequently seen in polyethylene wear and also in metallosis if it's macrophages mediated. It's less frequently seen in LVL. Also keep metastasis and pre-existing degenerative cysts in mind when you assess an MRI for osteolysis. The term pseudotumor is actually an older term when there was less understanding of what's actually going on in metal on metal systems and it was first used as a clinical term for these aseptic masses in the periprosthetic soft tissue. They can either be solid or cystic and are believed to be a result of adverse reaction to metal ions from wear. But today pseudotumors should not be used anymore and this is also suggested in uh, multiple publications and the term ALTR or ARMD are probably the preferred terms. 
So this is my uh, approach here. If I have an MRI with any abnormality around a metal on metal hip arthroplasty that is out of the ordinary, if it's cystic or solid with synovitis or not, then I call that ALTR or ARMD. I do not use the term ALVAL in my reports since it's a histological diagnosis. If there is a lot of susceptibility artifacts within or around the hip, then I sometimes also use the term metallosis. Metallosis can also go inside or into the bone with osteolysis and you can have both. You can have osteolysis from normal wear, but even in metallosis you can have osteolysis. And as I have shown you before, metallosis can be considered a form of a particle disease, but the term particle disease, I use that one basically only in non-metal on metal hip arthroplasties. If it's still not clear and then I'm deeply sorry that I was not able to make it easy for you because somehow it's still confusing even for me. I can show you a picture here and this picture is from a publication by Smith and Nephew and I put the link to this paper down in the description. It's a really nice overview about hip arthroplasty and metallosis and stuff like that. And in this image you can nicely see that the reality is probably even more confusing or more complicated than what I have shown you in my video here. The main point I would like to make is that Alval is actually a histological diagnosis and you should not use pseudotumor as a term, but rather either use metallosis or ARMD or ALTR. In my next video I will show you a few cases of MR images in patients with metal on metal implants and we can go through the different findings on what to look for, what you want to describe and which terms you can use in real cases. So make sure to subscribe and even if you have already make sure you also hit the bell button so you get automatically notified every time I upload a new episode. Also don't forget to hit the like button because it helps with search engine optimization as I have learned recently. If you want to become a supporter of this channel and have some impact on what content I should produce, make sure to check out my Patreon page. You can find the link down in the description and we do Patreon exclusive videos and quizzes every month. So go there and check it out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.